sir. I am going to be a nurse for today, so I am nurse for me. So, sir, can you state your name and your birth date, sir? Okay, so Mr. Frederick, you are scheduled for today's intramuscular injection. And I'm going to administer sterling water based on your medication, sir. Okay? So, you don't have any allergies on some kind of solution. Am I right, sir? So, sir, do you have any concern regarding the procedure? Please let me know. So, after explaining the things that you are going to do during the procedure to the patient, and after verifying yourself to the patient, asking for the patient's name and birth date, you may now uh, provide the patient with privacy and comfortability. Okay, sir, can you go near me? Okay, thank you, sir. Just relax, sir, okay? So, after doing those things, you may now wear your gloves. But before proceeding to the patient and doing the procedure, you should do a proper hand hygiene. Do not forget to do a proper hand hygiene. And be considerate regarding the six rights. So, those are the right patient, right medication, right dose, right uh, route, right documentation, and right time. So, after that, I'm going to first explain what is intramuscular injection. So, intramuscular injection has different kinds of injection sites. So, we have here the deltoid. We also have the vastus lateralis, which is very common to kids and that is located on the leg. So, we also have a ventral gluteal, so that is on the hips, and we have also the uh, dorsal gluteal, which is on the back. So, in administering medication or solution through uh, intramuscular injection, we'll be needing the doctor's order, which is the sterile water. Check for the sterile water's uh, information and of course the expiration date and grab your syringe and your needle so for the intramuscular injection uh, for the information of it we are allowed to use 1 to 2 ml for the deltoid area and up to 5 ml you are now allowed to use the dorsal gluteal as the injection site so for the gauge it is uh, a mask that you'll use a 23 gauge so that is very common and then the age will be one to one and a half depending on your patient so if the patient had has no uh, fatty tissues you are now allowed to use one inch but if the patient is 200 pounds and above you must use one and one half inch okay so for the syringe, I have here 3 ml, but I am going to withdraw just about 1 ml. So, I'm going to use the deltoid area. And I have here the another uh, syringe, which is a 23 gauge. This is very common in inserting the uh, intramuscular injection. So, it is 23 gauge and 1 inch. So, this is... Okay, so before uh, proceeding to the injection area, you should first clean the area with cotton balls and alcohol. Okay, sir, I'm going to raise your uh, shirt. So, raise your shirt. Okay, sir, can you lay down your hands? Okay, so, just relax, sir, okay? So, before uh, cleaning the area, you should first find the area where you are going to insert the needle. So, from this bony point, and then put two uh, fingers from this point. This is the area where you, you are going to insert the needle. And then now you make me using circular outward motion. Okay, and then you may now dispose this cotton ball. Okay, so I'm going to explain first on how to withdraw solution, okay? So I have here the syringe that I'm going to use. I'm going to withdraw one. Okay, I'm going to withdraw only one ml. 
needle. So, I'm going to change the needle. Okay, I have another needle. Okay. This is the another needle that I'm going to use. So this is what it looks like, okay? So before withdrawing solution from this bottle, first you must uh, withdraw or aspirate at least the exact amount that you are going to administer, which is 1 ml, okay? Exactly 1 ml, okay? So now you are going to insert the needle inside the bottle. And then you may now push the plunger and grab the exact amount that you had aspirated earlier which is 1 ml okay okay on your eye level check for bubbles remove any sort of bubbles okay so after that you are going to inject it to the patient from 90 degree so it's like this okay so how are you going to inject it to your patient so using your free hand you are going to adjust the skin of the patient and then from 90 degree angle you are going to insert the solution just like so from this area imagine that this is the uh patient's arm you're going to uh, adjust with your free hand and then insert the needle about 90 degree angle just like this then insert bevel up insert but first aspirate in order for you to see if there's any blood okay so if you don't any see any blood you're going to inject the solution okay so after that slowly remove the syringe Okay, so after injecting the solution to the patient, do not recap the syringe and needle that you have used and throw it properly, dispose it properly to the sharps bin in order for you to prevent contamination and injuries. Okay, so after that, remove your gloves and dispose it as well as with the other materials that you have used. Okay, I have zoomed in the video in order for you to see what am I doing. So I already removed the needle from the syringe. So this needle is going to be the needle for the patient. So I'm going to place it right over here. And then I have here my vial with another uh, spare needle, okay? So I'm going to put my syringe here. But first, I'm going to withdraw the exact amount that I am going to withdraw from the vial, okay? Aspirate first. I'm going to aspirate 1.5. Five, and I'm going to uh, withdraw 1.5 solution also. Okay, I'm going to put this here. Make sure that it fits, okay? And then push the plunger down. And then now get what did you aspirate earlier, the exact amount of it. And I aspirated... 1.5 so i'm going to get 1.5 solution as you can see it is very easier in that way after aspirating the exact amount okay it is very easier to get the solution okay so after that i already have the solution and then i am going to remove the syringe from the vial like this and then i'm going to put the original needle of this syringe in order for me to use this to my patient make sure that the syringe and the needle are intact okay okay you may now uncup this needle and then insert it to your patient but first aspirate in order for you to see if there's any blood and if there's none you may now insert the solution to your patient for about 90 degree angle so that's it and that's how you uh, withdraw solution from this vial. So thank you for watching!